Hello. Hi. We are going to be doing universal favorites today. So we're going to talk about some of our favorites that are either like in the park or city walk and just different things. We obviously can't go because it's still quarantine and everything's closed. So we thought at least this would be fun to kind of talk about our favorites and then just chat about it, I guess. Yeah, that'd be cool. So that's what we're going to do. So we have a couple of different like categories and I have them on my phone over here. So we're going to do those and we'll get started. We're going to start with ride favorites and we're going to do our top three. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start, go for it. Yeah, so my first favorite ride is definitely the mummy. I like how it just goes fast and I mean, it's like you don't expect like drops to happen or like turns to go around. My second favorite would definitely be the Incredible Hulk. That's good. Because I mean, I just like fast roller coasters in general. So, and it, I mean, I just like going up, upside down, all that stuff. And then my third? Like I guess qualifying for third would be um like is Spider Man or like a roller coaster or is like well, a, it's a ride so it counts. yeah so Spider Man because I just like Spider Man a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna sound boring, and because you just said two of mine. <laughs> so first is the Mummy, second is Hulk, and then the third one is different. I have Green Gods Bank in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, that one's really yeah. good. That's one of my favorites. That is a roller coaster. So that would be my third, but um maybe it's like a runner up. I don't know. I like the Cat in the Hat like. Um, <laughs> Where you go on the trolley at the top. That's just nice because you can take a break and there's usually not that long of a line. So that's a good one if you just want a break. E.T. is my break ride. E.T.'s a good one. I like E.T. Yeah. It's nice because you wait in the A.C. for a bit, but you have to wait outside for a while. So if it's really hot out, oh, yeah. just prepare because they take it in waves because it's like a little video first and then you go into the like other waiting queue. But okay, those are good ones. All right. So let's move to the next category. All right, the next category I'm gonna have to think about, but it's places to eat, and we're gonna, again, do the top three for those. So, you wanna start again? Places to eat? Yeah. I would say my first favorite place to eat is the Leaky Cauldron. Yes. That Where is that? So that's good. in, is that Islands of Adventure? That's um, by, that's by the world, bank. But I think it's, yeah, in Islands of Adventure. That's right by the bank, yeah, yeah. My second favorite would probably be, just because I ate there, Krusty Burger. Well, like, it's like the, they're all linked together. I like how Krusty Burger looks, and it's like fun and everything, and especially because it's from the show. But I don't know if the food's my favorite. Honestly. Well, yeah, I just like because the atmosphere. Yeah, good atmosphere. But I will the say the food's fine. My third favorite, and just because we had the chance to eat there, was the um, Green Eggs and Ham booth. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Just because, like, it's never open. So when we got the chance to, what did we get? We got um, didn't we get the uh, s'mores fries or something like that? Um, we got a yeah. s'mores dip. Yeah, they had s'mores. Was it dip or fry? I think it was a dip. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it was it was good. And then they had um like a lot of tater tot stuff, but we didn't get those. One's like a who hash, and it comes in a can. I could try inserting mm -hmm. a pick if I find one, but it's like a can, and you get to keep the can. It's like I don't know, but it's cute. All right, my first favorite place. Again, I'm gonna sound boring, but it's the same. It's um not boring. What's it called? Leaky Cauldron. Leaky Cauldron. Yeah, I yeah. go there every time, and you could either take it to go like a quick service, or you can sit down. They have like a whole seating area. They have a lot of food. I usually get the chicken sandwich. It's really good. But I think they do like fish and chips in there too. They do butter beer. They do um, bangers and mash. So it's really filling. So, so I like sitting in there, but they have a lot of good stuff. My second one, it's not like a restaurant per se. It's not like a sit down, but I like going inside of Harry Potter World, the same section again. Um, Florian Portuguese, the ice cream place. Because mm -hmm. they do a lot of different ice cream flavors I and they do the some plain beer. ones. Yeah, they do plain ones and then they do some fun ones. So, like he was saying, the butterbeer ice cream is really good. And then I'm trying to think, there was like a caramel one I think I had before. What do you mean? Just, I'm trying to think of the flavor. It was like a caramel, uh. I'm pretty sure. But they have a lot of unique flavors and it's just nice on a hot day, especially in Florida, which is most mm -hmm. of the time. It's perfect. And then my third favorite. Mm -hmm. Maybe not Harry Potter. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. After a lot of consideration, I think my third would be, what's it called? The Monster Classic Cafe that they have. I think that's in Universal Studios, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Universal Studios. I went a few times, but they do nice like variety of food and then I just like the inside how it looks and there's a lot of seating so another good spot to sit if you're just trying to get out of the heat. The next category we're gonna do is things in City Walk and top three for that again. I'm gonna start off because I keep making him go first but <laughs> my first favorite in City Walk is the Universal store. It's this giant store towards the end of City Walk is when you're going towards Islands of Adventure 
and it just has a bunch of universal stuff so if you didn't get it in the park you can get it there so they have like Despicable Me, Dr. Seuss, Harry Potter, everything and then it's clothes, keychains, wands, the robes, stuffed animals mm -hmm. so I like looking in there even if I've already looked in the stores in the park because sometimes it's just fun different stuff and then it's nice if you don't want to lug stuff around the whole day and you just want like a basic souvenir that it's not something specific from the parks you can get them in there my second favorite place would be Cowfish. It's this burger sushi restaurant that they also have. It's towards the same direction, but it's next to, I believe, the pizza place that they have. But they do burgers and sushi, and it's this two-story restaurant. We had, it was actually in the Halloween Horror Nights video, so if you check that out, we ate there at the beginning. But I had this good. burger with, I think it was blackberries and brie cheese. It was really good. And then you had a I got bento a, box, right? I got like a veggie bento box. It yeah. was out of this world. It's really good. And if you have a annual pass, when we went, they were doing annual pass discounts. So definitely check that out too. And they were just sweet in there too. They were nice. Yeah, everybody was really nice. And there was a lot of room to sit. Mm -hmm. And they have the funny um, cowfish outside that you can actually sit inside and take a picture. So a lot of people do that. And then my third one, I, l I haven't actually eaten in the restaurant in here, but I always go in this place and it just seems really nice and I want to eat in there. It's the Chocolate Emporium. I've heard people who've had it, they said it's really good. But it's really nice and you go in and I just like the theme of it. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of steampunkish, it's, right? It's, that's how they dress. They dress steampunky. Yeah, it's, it's cool. really cool. But they have a lot of different chocolates. They're, I think, a little pricier, but it's nice for a special occasion or something. Or if you're on vacation, just try it out. But definitely, even if you don't want to buy anything, just go in it because they have mm -hmm. a lot and it's really cool. What would your three be? <laughs> my top three? Yeah. Or... Well, obviously, my top one is gonna be the NBC or NBC. Is it the sports? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the sports bar. Yeah. They always have great burgers. They had great nachos and wings when we went. Yes. It's just always like just a good like safe place to go if you I need. Like those chips. If yeah, if you just need some like any kind of food, they have anything there. It's great. They and there's just chips sports with, playing. What was it called? Like the chips with I think it was white cheddar and bacon. Yeah. It was so good. My second favorite place is gonna be. Sorry, we just keep looking at a squirrel. He's just hanging out out here. He's like, he's just crawling by me, and I don't want him yeah, coming near me. He's like a little close. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give him a chip to get him away. No, do not give him anything. That's gonna bring him closer. Oh my god. He just came. Here's our little squirrel friend. We had to get up because he just keeps moving closer and then running away. <laughs> I don't know. He's in the shade right now. I don't want him. Alright, so it's been a bit because the squirrel, which you guys saw, and then we were outside and then people were like out there talking, so we didn't want to film it because it was loud, so we just decided we'd wait. But now we can give back to your second favorite. <laughs> so now, my second favorite is, First big, City Walk. is Big Fire on City Walk. It was there, I think, for like a year, I think they said, like six yeah. months. Like, it was like there for a short time, but like you see them, there's like a big like grill, there's like huge fires and you see them cooking all your meat, it's all like done right then and there, it's be it looks really nice. I think they said um, it's the newest restaurant on City Walk. Definitely the newest. I could insert, because I didn't do a video on it, but I could insert like a picture of like what we ate on and the we side got, like, over there. s'mores, there was like a s'mores dessert. Oh yeah, I could insert that too. Nice. <laughs> and then my last favorite, my third favorite is the movie theater. That's because nice we just walked, like we walked in there on accident because we have AMC stubs. So we got tickets, but it was for Hollywood's Universal. <laughs> so the guy looked at us like, oh yeah, this isn't the right place. So either way, we still bought tickets. We watched the movie, and they just had the best wings. They had the best fries. Oh yeah, they had good food. It, and the movie was just nice. The seats reclined. It was nice. It was just beautiful. They also I sell it. blankets, which is funny, because I always and like pillows. joke about bringing like, a blanket to the movies, because it gets yes. so cold. And they actually sell blankets there. And that one's a Cinemark, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Beautiful. I don't know if all Cinemarks are like that, but that was really nice. And like just that drapes of like the mo like the monsters. It was all nice. It I was, was cool. I was gonna add a favorite. I didn't say it because it doesn't exist anymore. Sadly, it does unless they're renovating it. The last time I went before everything like shut down, it was it looked like it was closed. It was PIC, I think it was called, P-I-Q. Yep. And it just had like cute tchotchkes and stuff, but they closed. So it's sad, but mm -hmm. that was a really nice place. The next part? That we're doing favorite event at Universal? Yeah, so this one we're just gonna do one because I don't really know how many there are, but figured one was a good But I think it's, it's safe to say it's both our favorite. We have yeah. the same one. Halloween Horror Nights. It would be Horror Nights. <laughs> We've only done the one in Orlando. We've never done the one in Universal, like the California one, but mm -hmm. it was really fun. 
Um, the food was really good. I like how they do like the specialty items for the event. Yeah, I like. The I like the food. twisted tater, which if you watched the video from Hard Nights, it was like a long stick with like a potato chip swirled mm -hmm. around it. And then my favorite house was the Classic Monsters this past year. Yeah. I'm hoping it's open this year, but it's not looking good. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, but if not, next year. <laughs> totally fine. Mine, I would say like my favorite food, like at Hard Nights, would be the the uh, sweet potato fries. Yeah. With the s'mores all over it. I do like um, Voodoo Donuts there. I'm not sure if it was just this year, if they do it every year, but they did like specialty donuts for the event too. So this year it was like Stranger Things Donuts. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty cool. The next set of favorites we're going to talk about for top three is our favorite park sections. Mm -hmm. So my favorite park section for number one would be the like Seuss Landing area. So the whole like Dr. Seuss area and Islands of Adventure. I like the truffle trees. They're really cute. You can take a picture right in front of them. And then green eggs and ham. I love taking pictures of it all the time, even yeah. though it used to be closed, but now you can actually eat in there. So that's good. And then you like the fudge area, which is I nice. Like they have the a fudge, candy yeah. shop, but that's a cute area. Mm. Just, everything about that section is my favorite. I love the, they do moose juice and goose juice. I think the moose juice is my favorite. The it's orange basically, sweet one. Yeah, it's an yeah. orange slushy. The goose juice, we tried it, but it was, it was kind of sour. It's like green sour apple. Yeah, basically. it was too sour, but the orange one, I would get that. So that's my favorite section. And then, second favorite, of course, is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's just, they, it's like a lot of detail in there, and then also just, I don't know. I don't it just know feels magical. Yeah, I just <laughs> like how in the, is it Islands of Adventure that you have to go through like the little like hidden like the section? hidden wall. Yeah. yeah. And then you could take the train, like the Hogwarts Express, which is really nice. So I love that section. And then even how they just made Hogwarts look from the, like there's a bridge that you could take a picture in front of that you see the castle in the back. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I'm sorry, like I keep moving my arm and <laughs> it keeps covering you. But, um, and then my third section, I don't know. Two. What are your two? Give me your two because I have to think of a third. Oh, I have all three. <laughs> oh, go for it. So my, my first top one is obviously like the Marvel, even though like, like I guess it's uh, like the superhero section. Yeah. Like the whole superhero section, all the Marvel stuff. I thought of my third. You're good. I already know what it is. <laughs> my, my second favorite is Jurassic Park because I love Jurassic Park as a whole. I love dinosaurs. And then my third favorite would be Comic Book World. The cartoon with section. the cartoon the, all the cartoon sections all the comic book strips it's just yeah it makes you feel special that's my third <laughs> the whole like cartoony area i don't i yeah. think it's like toon lagoon yeah toon lagoon that's what it's i called. like blondies in there that's fun yeah and it always goes like yep. for a couple minutes i don't know if it does that all the time or just seasonal i think it does it all the time and then um I'm trying to think what else it's just really cute and then they have some of those um like the little water things like it's kind of like a sprinkler but it's like in a little cannon and like shoots out so that's kids like, like playing bubbles. with it like yeah. the bubbles that are on the poles. And then Popeye's there. over there with Dudley do right that's the other mm -hmm. ride I really like. That's a good ride. Yep. So that whole section is just really cute and you feel like you are a cartoon character. So our final like actual section or like favorites before we just talk about like random I guess stuff mm -hmm. is favorite snacks or like food in the parks. So my first one of course is butter beer. I specifically like the frozen one though. I'm not as much of a fan for some reason of the regular. It's good but not as good as the frozen butter beer. So if you get the chance, try that. Also, if you're there when they're doing the hot butter beer, that was really good. It just tastes like warm caramel, which is nice. So that's my first favorite. My second favorite is basically any ice cream at Florian's. <laughs> they're really good. I like the butter beer ice cream. Obviously, I like butter beer. Um, I think there was like a sweet cream or something that I got that was really good. Um, I'm trying to think what other flavors. What flavors have you had there? I've only had the butter beer. That's the only one I've ever gotten. They do soft serve ice cream as well as like the like hard ice cream and then you can put toppings. So I just like the variety and every time I go I try to try something different. Mm -hmm. So I like that one. And then my last one is probably just the candy apples in the Dr. Seuss section because they make them really cute. So they have, um, there's like an orange one with like the Lorax's mustache on it so it looks like him. And then they have like a thing one, thing two apple which is really cute. And then the fudge in there is pretty good, but I would say the apples, honestly. Just any type of like caramel or a candy apple. My top three for sure, definitely frozen butter beers, number one. Yeah. I love that one to death. It's my favorite drink, just even if it's a hot day, it I just cools it, it off. every time. <laughs> Two is the fudge at um, Dr. Seuss, just because I'm a sucker for fudge, and I always just think it tastes great. And then three would be probably like the s'mores dip at Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, yeah. Just because... Can't go wrong with s'mores. Yeah, you ever. like s'mores. Yeah. <laughs>
so that's it for our like overall favorites mm -hmm. but now just like other stuff about universal that we like what do you like about universal besides I mean, like the favorites we've listed i like i like how all the superheroes come up on atvs for the show because that's i don't think sense. anyone really does that and i just think it has like that splash of uniqueness but i also just like how it's more like thrill coasters mixed with like movie coasters I love roller coasters. Yeah, I like that they have a lot of roller coasters. I think yeah. um, their annual pass, if you get it, it's really worth it. Mm. Especially like the monthly payment. It's pretty low, especially considering the one I do. There's, I forgot what mine is. It's like the Premiere or something. It's the light blue pass. Yeah. I don't know exactly the name of it. But there's no blackout dates or anything. And it's like less than $20 a month to do, which is really nice. And then, what else? Hmm. Think. Oh, I really want to do, I haven't done it, but I like that they offer it during Christmas. They do like a character, I think it's a breakfast or dinner with oh, the Grinch. Yeah. Pretty sure it's breakfast, but he's mm. there and it's just like, I think that's unique, especially like for the seasonal things. Mm. I like how they decorate for Christmas, and especially again in Seuss Landing area. <laughs> um, what else do you like? I like, I mean, just their decorations as a whole. I like how they do Horror Nights. Oh, I like Mardi Gras. I like how for fun. Mardi Gras, this year it got cut short obviously with everything going on, but they have a whole list of concerts ahead of time mm -hmm. with like big name artists that are there. So who was one of them? Marshmallow? Yeah, I was excited for that one. Yeah, I don't, did he end up, nah, did they do the concert? Nah, he didn't go because then the whole, out, the whole thing like took the place virus before, thing. yeah. Yeah, but they do the whole thing with the beads and then they have like this cool merch. They have and floats, merch. Yeah. They had like dancers when we were there one time just like roaming the mm -hmm. like streets, which was cool. Mike's been to the water park, so he liked that, he said. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone yet, but... I mean, it, it's nice. It's, like, well done. I mean, it's just going to be busy in the summer, but it's usually... It seemed fairly quiet when I went. When, when did you go? Not um, that long ago, no, right? not like, that long ago. March, I would, February or Yeah, I would say in March. March I went. Yeah, it just depends on the weather for sure, but... Mm -hmm. Sometimes they close if they think it's too cold, so, like, sometimes in the 60s I think it's shut, but if yeah. you're here at, like, an off month and it's open probably it's easy try going it yeah hopefully won't be as long i also like their hotels i know it's i don't know if it's directly theirs or it's just through lowe's but we yeah. stayed at cabana bay mm -hmm. like my family came when i went with them it was so nice just as uh, yeah cabana bay was different yeah. hey, what it's i liked big. about cabana bay it was weird but like when you when you're in the pool and you go underwater you hear music because like they actually have speakers underneath mm -hmm. just for you to listen to music while you swim underwater i just thought that was so cool their food court was huge and they had they i liked that nice it was different court. stations so in the food court down there it was like um it's as if it was like mini kiosks mm -hmm. and then you just check out the food there and then bring it to the checkout counter but they had like an international food section they did like a pizza section then there was mm -hmm. one with like burgers fries hot dogs and then they also had like a big section of fridge with like drinks and stuff and then in the evening they had like the s'mores kits because they do a fire i think most of the nights if not all yeah, of them like the so you could get your s'more stuff to make it there so i mean the last thing that I, like i would like to add we forgot I, to add it before we did the outro but we're adding it now i did the 5k run yes which that's what this chart is from which is fun because you start in like the um where is it the uh parking lot, parking lot by volcano bay and then you're basically like, running around the entire park and like you go inside the park so you're like you run behind the Hulk, then you come through and you're by, like, Dudley Do and all that. Okay. Like, in the cartoon world. Then you're, like, kind of, you're kind of, like, serpentining along the way until you, like, hit Fast and Furious, and then you just go all the way till the end. Because you go through all the parks, You right? go through the whole, both parks. They open up both, and you just run right through them all. When you're on the, like, on the sides, if, like, if you're just running for fun, per se, there's like characters on the side so you can take pictures with them like Shrek and Donkey were there put some boots I think Simpsons were there some of the Simpsons were there it's fun because like they have like a DJ and the medals are wait, nice and the medals are nice so if you've done that too <laughs> let us know maybe next year if he runs or if I do it we could make a video on that mm -hmm. so that's basically it for this video sorry if there was like any background noise but we wanted to do it outside since we've been cooped up so long it's, it's nice out too it's a really nice day Sunny. I think it's like 70s or 80s yeah but that's what we've been up to, just kind of staying inside, looking mm -hmm. forward to Universal opening up again. Just everything opening up again. Yeah. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, let us know. We could always do one for Disney too. Mm -hmm. So leave any suggestions or leave your favorites down below for Universal as well. And we'll see you in the next video.